Hi everybody, Susie Q here, Q Aquatics, and welcome to Tuesday's Tank. And today we're going to be going over the new Oxalatos home. I moved them from a 20 long on the bottom to the 20 long on the top. So we're doing another 20 long this week. I started the series last week and here's my second tank that we're going over. Come join me. Okay, so I'm moving them from a 20 long to a 20 long. That's not changing. Um, the only thing that's changing is how far down I have to crunch, <laughs> how far down I have to squat to feed them, and I love feeding them. I want to spend a little more time on it, so I'm going to clean this tank out a little bit. I'm changing the color sand because I'm noticing black sand probably isn't the best for the wild caught one. I, it's very hard for me to see him, and I, I think he's so cool. The other ones obviously stand out. Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to be able to see them up close and we need to take better pictures of them. So I'm going to move them up here. I'm going to put down some sand substrate. I've got a, a two sponge filters already ready and I'm going to swap them out for that one so they'll be have beneficial bacteria in them already. Let's get to work. Now this is just one of the lids that I buy this um, polycarbonate at Home Depot. And I cut it out and I fit lids to fit. Sometimes I put these little hangers on them so that they're easy to pick up. I'm not that picky. I'm more of uh, I'm like aquatics on a budget. <laughs> That's why I love the fish fam because they have so many great ideas on what to do and what. To, so I'm going to wash this out. Ooh, very dusty. I'm going to clean this out with a little bit of vinegar and water and be right back. So it's funny how the camera turned off right before this started overflowing. Okay, here's their new home. I moved the same decor that was in below. I moved up top to this tank. Seasoned sponge filters. Changed the color of the sand so I could see that wild one a little better. Oh my goodness, I just think they are adorable. Of course, I changed the color of the sand to see the wild one better and I still can't find him. Well, there he is. I don't know if you can see. Huh, oh, he's just peeking out. Ah, so they move from down here here. Let me tell you, it is so much easier feeding them, interacting with them. I was filming it, but I had a little bit of a flood and then I got sidetracked. It's got a mixture of live plants and fake plants. I'm not sure how well the live plants will grow in just sand, so I tried to pick Anubias. There's three or four Anubias, some Java fern, I got like one big mat that I cut up in three. Some of these, uh, what do they call these? Moss balls. It's really not moss. A couple stem plants here and there. Oh, it's just in my reflection. I love it though. These guys are so awesome. They're so fun to interact with, they're so fun to feed. I hope they like their new home. I'm not going to move them again until they outgrow this tank. <laughs> 